Hey guys, Takisugi here, here with a new hero on Korean Lost Saga. This is Hero 187, Cannon. So, uh, Hero 187, he's definitely a murderous, murderous hero. He's a normal hero, you can buy it with peso or what have you. Let's check it out here. So, three hit basics. One, two, three. Third hit will faint. These will lift off faints as well. You can see the third hit travels a little bit of a distance and faints on its own, so you don't need uh, previous attacks in order to get that faint. So, pretty fair enough. Uh, no jump cancel, it looks like, so he is a kind of ground and pound kind of base character. So, let's check out his whole D. Whole D is a very nice uh, turret mode. The catch is you can't just uh, flick your D key and want it, you know, this looks like flicking your D, doesn't it? <laughs> you can't just flick that. You have to actually charge it. Even if you charge it a little, it's not going to come out. You have to charge it to about 40 passive, which, give or take, is uh, one, maybe one, one and a half seconds to get a shot off, uh, which can be a big deal, but uh, look at the range you get in compensation for this. So, and the, and the area of attack it hits as well is pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get a crowd out here and just go, kind of show the uh, AOE potential of it. So you can see it hits in a pretty wide area. Pretty wide area. So not too shabby at all. Let me go ahead and get all these things off my screen before I lag out. I wasn't actually lagging that time. This must be because my upgrades are working. <laughs> so in the whole D mode, you are uh, stationary. Uh, you can't move around or anything. Uh, if you hit your jump key, you're going to jump out of it, explode, and then you will be locked out of your whole D uh, for a little bit there. You can see he's all shocked up and can't really transform, but now he can. So uh, If you transform out of this with your jump attack or if your jump key, it will actually explode and put flame status on someone if it connects with them. Uh, still, the catch is you'll be stuck in your default form and can't go into a turret form. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. To get out safely, you just press your block key. A little bit of a delay in getting out that way, so you got to be careful about that. It's kind of balanced. It's actually a kind of balanced character in that regard. <laughs> uh, but uh, full charge, full charge, you get a uh, kind of a shock status effect on someone. And they stay down a little bit longer. You can probably follow up with some shots. Uh, Dev K still gets up kind of quickly. Uh, but from what I could tell, I could still follow up with a shot or two. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, there might be three levels to it. But all I can see really on the surface is two levels. The 40 to, uh, I guess, 80 maybe. I think you have to have full charge for that. Whatever. I, I'm not going to test it all, guys. You get the gist of it. <laughs> so, two hit, two hit dasher. Second hit will launch. Very simple and straightforward. And you can juggle off that if you can actually land it. It's not too hard. Two, three. There you go. And then you can do your air attacks uh, off of that. Or you can go into your uh, passive. So, either way, follow ups. So you also have a dash hold D. Now this looks like it would be your hold D, but you had to dash into this. This puts a plasma status on someone with the gun, and uh, it's going to be a really nice ranged attack. So he's going to be pretty versatile. Let's look at the, how the the uh, range and area of effect is on this. So it's like it stops on one person. It doesn't have any penetration effect or anything like that. No AOE effects like that. By the way, just wanted to test really quickly with the. Hold D here. Looks like there's no guard breaker effect on ice, at least. So um, I can't tell. If it doesn't break ice, usually that's a sign it's not a guard breaker. So moving on to jump attack. Jump attack. Two hit jump attack. Second hit has a very far range to it. Uh, the catch is you can't do it point blank. So if you're trying to do like a cross up. Uh, you might miss. Otherwise, you can turn on the second hit and still land that, so it's not too, too bad. So if you want to jump over them, use the momentum, and then do that, that works. We'll also hit grounded for a little bit of a pushback if you have someone really close to an edge for a quick edge. Not too bad. No air hold D, it seems like. Uh, no air dashers, no double jumps, so check out defensive properties down here. So you do have a... Come on. Come on, aim this way, robot. What are you doing? <laughs> you do have a deflect uh, deflect option on this character. He's beefy, and he's got that option. No recoveries on the skills. 
No half faint flinch there. No half faint flinch there. No half faint flinch there. So his defensive option is the the whole uh, deflect option. So checking out the skills, weapon skill. Go into cannon form. Get a pretty wide range on this. Then you can lay up to three holes down. If it connects on someone, it'll pop them up and then pop them down. And it persists, so it will, you know, continuously drop people uh, if they walk over it or get hit into it. So, not too bad. A really pretty nice skill. It's still going to be like Destroyer's whole gimmick um, or Terraform or whatever you want to call that guy. But, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. And it will hit grounded, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it definitely hits grounded. So, there you go. There you go. Armor skill. Little beam. Has a knockback to it. Looks like it has shock status effect too. Wow, the cooldown looks super long though. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. It actually double hits as well on grounded. It puts that shock status on them. So pretty nice. Helmet skill. Some planes fly overhead. You can see the shadows and then they bomb someone. Doesn't look like too good of a skill to be honest. I mean, it has AOE to it, but it doesn't have flame status it looks like. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not going to talk much about that skill. It looks kind of crappy. <laughs> and the trinket skill is a uh, trap. And it has a meter to it, uh, like some skills do. The catch is you can not You can only have one trap out at a time, so you're not going to be able to use all those traps. So Check it out there. I guess you can't really tell on DevK. Let's use it on the robots down here. The robot buddies. Use it on the big fella here. So you can see it does have some invulnerability behind it. It looks like it didn't get the shock stats to it. Weird. Maybe that just doesn't work on uh, robots. But either way, it's supposed to slow. Um, maybe it's just how HQ functions. I don't know. I don't know. That seems funny. Let me go ahead and try, try this again. Man, I'm a slow guy. I'm a slow guy. Slow guy. Luckily, I have a deflect. Okay. Let's try again. We'll have that out for a second. Then he'll walk over it. And still no slow. But it does. it is supposed to have a slow effect to it. So that'll do it for cannon, guys. So, you know, overall, if you're look interested in a kind of range-based character with a neat little range uh, skill skill-based range mode, uh, this would be fun. If you're a fan of Ch Chaos Dahlia, it may not feel as smooth as her. Um, but you're definitely getting more mileage out of this. Um, with Chaos Dahlia, you have a, like a thin arrow where you can't really aim it too, too well. But this has an arc to it as well, so you got to think about that. So the arc is going to catch people if they're trying to jump into you on this and you have a charge built up. And you have the really nice AoE effect. Full charge, you got... Probably more range overall than Chaos Dahlia as well. So it's pretty cool. And you have a get out of jail free option with the explode. The catch is, it's balanced. Um, but if they get into your face, they're going to wreck you in your turret mode. Actually, that would be interesting. Let's see how it looks getting hit in the turret mode. I'm interested in that. Does it knock you out of it or what happens? So it looks like it knocks you out of it if you get hit. All right, we'll transform and let him get up here. So yeah, one hit knocks you out of your turret mode. So keep keep that in mind. You're not like Bastion absorbing extra damage or anything. You're getting whooped up on. You're getting knocked out of it with one little punch. Uh, you're getting one punch, man. <laughs> so yeah, overall, you know, he's got he's got a pretty nice uh, dash hold D ranged attack. This is actually really nice, and you can actually use this between your light attack as well for a little bit more range. So it's got that whole energy researcher feel to it in that regard. The weapon skill is pretty solid with the area coverage with this thing. It's pretty nice, and it does last a fair amount of time, too. So, Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I feel like this is a really nice step in the right direction for uh, the Korean La Saga version and for hero balance in general. It's not too OP. It feels rewarding, but at the same time, you know, you, you have to actually think on your feet to play this character you can't just mash your attack keys and jump keys and just win <laughs> that's 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 a problem with the game and this kind of gets around that it's a pretty nice character so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you next time we are ultra sigma ultron sigma ultra ultra sigma whoa that'd be kind of cool